Good morning, parents. This week's homework is going to be similar to the format of the games of last week. There is only one game board coming home, but there are two different games being played. Clip and cover, just like last week, except this one is focusing on a couple of different skills with addition and estimation. So it'll be the same thing where your child puts the two paper clips after you roll the dice. They'll put your little markers on. Let me grab my materials real quick. So if I were to roll my dice, my first one I got a three, so I'd move up one, two, three. As my game board is now shifting. Second one I got a two, so I put my paper clip on the other one. Then my directions say, after I do that, I want to add the two numbers together, and then I want to cover my answer. So if I add 21 and 5 thousandths with 18 and 46 hundredths, I'm going to get a number that's going to be close to 39 and 465 thousandths. If I were blue, I would cover up my tile and then it would be my partner's turn to roll. Your goal is to get three tiles in a row. On the back, we have display the digits, which is just using the Expo marker. Your child will use the number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, you'll have to pardon me, I'm writing upside down, seven, eight, nine, so if I have a backwards one, I'm really sorry. And then they're gonna try to figure out the pattern using these digits, but they can only use those digits only once. So if I have 29 hundredths, 39 hundredths, 49, the next one in the pattern would be 59, so I'm going to erase my 9, erase my 5 because I can't use them again. Then it looks like this pattern is increasing by 1, so this would be 0, 4, so on C I would put my 0, 4, and essentially I'm going to go through until all my digits have been used. So that's this week's number game. In addition to that, I know that last week reading was put down for 20 minutes for the kids. The kids should be reading 20 minutes every night. Now with that 20 minutes every night, I kind of want to talk about what that can look like. It can be a chapter book. If you want your child to read before bed, that's completely fine. If you have younger children that you need them to maybe help out with keeping them entertained, picture books are fine too. Your child's still going to be working on fluency. They're going to be practicing using voice inflection for those characters. If it's something where they are just flipping through, and it might not be a chapter book, but it might be something like a graphic novel, I'm okay with a graphic novel as well. But I also want you to know that reading doesn't just have to be limited to a text. The Manhattan Public Library offers Hoopla and the Sunflower e-library. They are both apps that you can download to your phone, or if your child has a phone, their digital device, or if your child has some sort of digital listening device, you can check up to five titles per month out on the Hoopla app, and they do have multiple audiobooks for kids. I do consider listening to an audiobook to be the equivalent of reading because your child is still hearing a voice reading to them, they still have to focus on comprehension as well. So audiobooks still count for me. If you're listening in the car, talk about it, discuss it as a family. It's a great thing to do. We do that on road trips, my fiance and I. Spelling. The spelling menu is already posted under stories in Class Dojo. Your child needs to get 20 points worth of activities. This week's list will be coming home today. Some students will have the same list repeated based upon their spelling needs from our test yesterday to make sure that they master those different word patterns. 
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me on Dojo or email me directly. Have a great weekend, parents.